Peace of love, peace of love, peace and love, chosen ones. I am back with another banger. First and foremost, if you've been enjoying the content down below, subscribe to the channel. Also, give this video a thumbs up and turn on the post notifications. And you know what I'm saying? As always, stay tuned throughout the whole thing. And you may catch some gems. So, family, um, something that you may start noticing, right? Like, if you are, um, this is from my own experience, right? With being like a content creator, uh, being on YouTube and TikTok, always making videos and really coming across new people every single day you know um i i see the comments and everything and i want to say you know for anyone that's out there that's wanting to start their journey you know whether it's getting on youtube posting their first videos out there um anything like that or making good music that's actually really good for the soul and not just like what the system wants to feed everybody which is just that murder music but instead you actually come on with uplifting tunes to like really make someone feel good and like think about their life in a good perspective. You know what I'm saying? When you got talent like that, when you're gifted like that, you know, and I say get out, you know, really everyone has it within. You just have to tap in with yourself and understand the tools that's already within like to um, have you be able to get on platforms and really start speaking and impacting people. But like when you have that ability and are able to like, you know, uh, get a mass amount of eyes looking at you and really like tuned in with the things that you say like you get put on the radar and like this is why you know you may experience like feeling like you you be watched when whenever you go out somewhere right when you go out somewhere you may be feeling like you watched and whatnot and it's because your vibrations is so high like you want some nut like some other vibrations now like you tap it in with the shit that's in the unknown and you bringing that to like the human eyes on the out external of you, you know what I'm saying? Like when people come across you, like they break their neck to look at you. You know, this is why like, it's, it's, it's really like the same amount of energy. Like if a celebrity went out in public, right? And got stared at, it's that type of energy that you already have already within, but it's not coming off of trying to force yourself, uh, like force an image out to get everyone to know you. Like you are actually doing this on your own and increasing your vibrations. like the kundalini energy you know this that's something that everyone should look into pulling your energy up you know all throughout your body and really aligning your chakras right whenever you start doing that you are actually emitting a, a, a much stronger field around you um for anyone that doesn't know like we have this energy field around us and the more you know you tap in with yourself and like you know work on your diet and, and different little like the habits that you may have had before and start to really heal past that like a lot of those habits end up being our habits from like past lives and stuff like that you know like it's not just from something we may have acquired as a kid like it's actually like past life experiences that we may come into this reality and be trying to fight and, and, and get away from you know what i'm saying so like you got to actually be aware of that and 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 be able to like you know heal that right and heal that but, you know, what I started to really notice is just like around this time, you know, you go out in public anywhere. It's like you could be at a red light, right? You could be at a red light and someone's going to be breaking their neck just looking at you. And then when you look at them, sometimes, you know, it's to the point they don't even look away. When you look, make eye contact, they continue to just keep staring at you. Or when you walk out in public, people are just really admired by the way you look. They're just awestruck. You know what I'm saying? Like I went in a, uh, I went in a store one time. It was a female in there and she just got so blown away and like went go tell her friends and all that shit and you know what i'm saying and they was like blown away and it's just because of my energy like that day when i walked in i felt my vibrations really 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 increase you know what i'm saying and that's from doing like because like you know a consistency of uh, meditation every single day at least like one time a day two times a day you know and tapping in with yourself you increasing the energy field and then you're getting in the flow of of the divine you know what i'm saying you're getting in the, the flow of the divine and that's what you really want to like be at but it's like you get a lot of eyes put on to you like a lot of weird shit starts to occur around you like a lot of abnormal things but these are the things that really like are meant to occur in your life right because you're a different type of like you're a god or a goddess and you're really walking in your true light like whenever you walk in your true light you impact the ones around you like whether you want to believe that or not like you impact the ones around you you, you like you inspire people or you either make people want to fake hate you you know i like to say fake hate because deep down people still admire you and love you 
but they just, you know, the ego is such in a way that they try to like portray this image to you that like, you know what I'm saying? They really don't fuck with you. They don't like you. But in reality, they're behind the screen, you know, looking at you. You may get random thoughts of these people that pop up in your mind just because you're so in tune with yourself, right? You're so in tune with yourself. Another person, you know, we have this connection from beyond the eyes that we can't see. And like this energy field that we emit, it reaches really to a, a, a far distance. So when a person thinks of you and you think you start randomly thinking of them, you know what I'm saying? They always got you on their mind because they watching you. They watching you every move. And you may be like, why am I thinking of this person? It's because they thinking of you. You know what I'm saying? And that's because of the energy field that you really emit around your body. But that just comes with like a lot of other stuff. Like, like I said, like when you go out, you just going to get so stared at. Like you're going to get stared at everywhere you go. You know, people are just going to be really admired over you. It's not nothing really bad. It's just people are just, they, they're not used to that type of energy, right? They're not used to that. They don't know what's going on with you. They don't know what you you are exactly doing. They don't know the, the back end work that you got going on, going on the, to put into this, like really doing shadow work. Like a lot of people are really scared of shadow work because, you know, that name got associated real intensively within this realm with like demonic shit, which is all an illusion, you know? It's like shadow work is the thing that you really need to do to heal yourself. You know, that's really going within and facing these different like times that you had in your life where you have to like actually understand why that event happened because everything happens for a reason. And when you dig within to the root, that's when you're actually doing shadow work and you letting like trauma literally like flow through your body and be released, right? Flow through your body and be released. And See, a lot of people don't do that. You know, that's why I wanted to bring that up. It's because a lot of people don't do that. And that's the reason why you are so different than people like the people that you meet now are going to be like soul tribe type of people, people that you can really connect with somebody that you truly know. It, it may feel like you resonate with them from a past life. Like these are the types of people that you're going to start running into within this lifetime, you know. You don't fit in with a lot of people for a reason because your energy is so strong and you can make a person feel really uncomfortable. Like, imagine that, right? Imagine that. Imagine going around like an electric box outside, right? And imagine you could feel the energy. Imagine you could feel the energy and you were standing around that and it like you just kept feeling the buzzing and you could just kept feeling the energy hit you. You start feeling uncomfortable. Like, that's how people feel around you. Like, it may not be like that physical, but from the from the from the internal, you know what I'm saying, from the internal uh standpoint, uh, looking from the within, you know what I'm saying, a person start feeling uncomfortable. You know, they may start getting these thoughts that pop into their mind because they may not be in control of their mindset like you are. So now thoughts are just being embedded into their mind, so they get really uncomfortable. That's why you you may not fit in with the same people no more. They probably see you still as the same image uh, as way back in the day. And you probably went into hermit mode and changed their whole life around, right? Because we all know when you when you really duck off the grid and take time to yourself and heal, you become unrecognizable to some people. Like some people really cannot recognize you no more because your energy is so different. And this is why you get stared at. Trust me, everyone has eyes on you. Everyone is inspired by you because you are the one to do it in this lifetime. You are the one to do it in this lifetime. You know, yeah, we may experience our little, uh, like our downs sometimes because we we always consistently experience these ups after these downs. Like these downs is the thing that really teaches us. A lot of people fold in these times. A lot of people fold. And like, that's what makes you stand out and be different than everyone else. You may not even get along with your own family because they may not be on the same stuff. They may still be on that negative mindset things because they haven't actually went within and increased their energy vibration around their body to know what that good energy feels like and not that autopilot. So they're really embedded into that comfort of that uh, fight or flight survival mindset. So you distance yourself because you feel that energy. You don't want to you don't want to be a part of that. Like you don't fit in with just anyone no more. Like the people that you really start to uh, meet in this lifetime now, like I said, is going to be like soul tribe people, like people that you feel like, you know, right off rips. Y'all been feeling like y'all know each other for like lifetimes. Right. 
you know, I know y'all experienced that before where you just had that click with someone and it's like you feel like you just known them from other lives and stuff like that. That's because like that's soul tribe. Like some of these people are just karmic relation relationships that you come across, right? And it's just for a period of time and you got to let that go. You got to let that go. You know what I'm saying? You got to let that go. But your energy is really, really, really strong. So, you know, everyone, like I said, everyone has eyes on you. And you're just that one in this in this lifetime. You you really different. So whenever you go out it's anywhere, don't ever feel like discouraged or don't ever feel like you just out of place just because like everyone's staring at you. It's because like you're so determined, like you so hungry, like you know, like I said, on the back end side, like you really put in a lot of work and grind, you know, and now you reaping the rewards and people are like, dang, like, how are you doing that? But they not seeing the cycle that you actually put into this, like the work that you put into this, you know, everyone, a lot of people only want to see the, 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 the person that's ups, but they don't even actually see the person that's behind the scenes working and grinding. And that's where you come into play. Like you've been doing this. So you really deserve to reap these rewards. You know what I'm saying? So keep doing you out there and know and understand that like the intention, man, any attention that's put on you, take that energy and transmute it into your own win. Don't ever feel that because, you know, a lot of the times like things like that is meant to try to throw your frequency off sometimes. Like when a person staring at you will make you feel uncomfortable, like take that in and transmute it. See yourself actually walk, walking in that light that you really desire, walking in that future, you know, that body that you really desire, emitting that energy and watch your whole life start to change around when those types of situations start to occur and you start transmuting all of that into a positive matter for you. You're going to start to really manifest your dream life just like that. But if this message could resonate with anyone out there, you know what I'm saying? Leave down in the comments and also subscribe down below. Give this video a thumbs up and turn on the post notifications. But as always, family, y'all take care. Peace.